Goldfields Ghana Foundation has launched its 20th anniversary celebrations with a commitment to expand scope of activities, including health and infrastructure development in host communities. More in this report. In the heart of Ghana's mining communities lies the Apinto Divisional Area, where the Goldfields Foundation has been a beacon of hope and progress for the past two decades. The Executive Secretary of Goldfields Ghana Foundation, Abdul Razak Yakubu, reflects on the Foundation's journey in the last 20 years. 20 years has been exciting. I have been involved in at least 17 of those 20 years, and I can attest that it's been exciting, exciting in a positive way. We are excited at seeing the impact that Goldfields has made through the foundation. When you go to any corner of Ghana and even beyond, you can find somebody, a professional, who is one of the over 2,700 graduates of our scholarship and this brings us a lot of joy our great interventions this also brings us a lot of joy so it has been an exciting journey in terms of infrastructure Takwa has changed Daman has changed Hunivali has changed we've enjoyed the peace to work for this long and you will hardly hear of any community agitation involving Goldfields and it's because of the relationship we have built so if the chiefs are calling for greater collaboration we welcome it we'll sit down with them and then try and find out the details what exactly that, that does that mean but there are no barriers to the level at which we want to collaborate our doors are always open and in fact Bear in mind, we are here as a mining company. A lot of things we are doing are not our primary business. So we always open our doors to listen to those who have the experience, those who have the mandate, like the municipal assemblies and all that, so that we can incorporate that and give the communities what they truly deserve. The foundation's impact is visible in every corner of Ghana, from scholarship for over 2,700 graduates to infrastructure developments in communities like Takwa, Daman and Huni Valley. Goldfields has left an indelible mark on the landscape of Ghana. Chief Executive Officer Chamber of Mines Suleiman Kony emphasized the need for collaboration among stakeholders. The reality is that we cannot take for granted the presence of Goldfields and assume that we would continue to have a thriving foundation. Why do I say so? Because as Razak demonstrated, we fund the foundation through effective production. If today the mines are not there, if production declines, effectively what it means is that the amount of funds which are going to the foundation through the operating companies will be there. And you don't want to do that. The beneficiaries of the foundations will have a keen interest in the operations of go for good Daman and Takwa and support them every step of the way. It is also important in summary to also recognize the symbiotic relationship between Gofos and the community. So here we want to bleed